Well, hello again, my friends. We're back. Another Great American Crap movie with Kyle. Uh, Monday night, we're going to double again. I figured I'd get one in here uh, before the evening and get ready for a holiday. Uh, no real time off from a full job. I get tomorrow or tomorrow off from the second gig. My mom's birthday it should be nice. Fairfield fireworks. And then Wednesday, the Great American Holiday, off from the insurance gig and then back at the grocery store. So it is what it is, my friends. Today, I have a local beer that's actually, I enjoy this one. It's Christian Moorline. Uh, it's a limited can release. It's the Strawberry Pig Cream Ale. Christian Moorline Brewing Company, Strawberry Pig Cream Ale. Uh, I like to read these on the back of the can. It says, each spring we honor Cincinnati's historical nickname, Pork Apples, by brewing a small batch of our favorite cream ale recipe, affecting we named the pig. In 2014, we decided to age the pig with a strawberry infusion. The resulting beer was so fantastic, we knew we had to serve with beer drinkers everywhere. Strawberry Pig has a refreshingly light body, and fruity finish that pairs particularly well with people parties and the fall of spring. Now this is a spring release. I did buy this about a month ago. Eh, five weeks, maybe uh, late May, uh, early June. Six pack, but I think it is good. Uh, the beer checks in at 4.9% alcohol by volume. Uh, strawberry pig cream ale, 4.9. Looking for a date on the can. Okay, let's see here. Nope, not getting anything on there. Uh, one thing I do want to touch on, I've done a couple more line beer reviews. I think it's just maybe the fourth or fifth one. Mad respect for these guys. You know, this is a company, you know, five, six years ago when I had my great Nick Parker and Alex Huff, we were sitting around here, you know, we were bored with Bud Light, you know, we already had Sam Adams and Blue Moon, you know, Sierra Nevada, Great Lakes. And Christian Morland was the only local craft brewery that was really around. Uh, you know, I think Ryan Geist was, what, 2012, Mad Tree came around, and then, you know, and then some other ones had been around for a few years, but these guys were the only ones that was really around. So I can remember drinking the, the variety packs of OTR, Healy's, Northern Lights, the Barbosa. Those are good beers and good times. And I always, Moorline's always going to a special place in my heart for that. We spent many summer nights, many winter nights uh, drinking Christian Moorline before the big boys were out in town. I just wanted to try something local. So special place in my heart. I love OTR. I think that's a tremendous beer. You know, that pack was good. We had a lot of good time, a lot of drunk nights, a lot of fun nights. And, uh, I, you know, people knock more line. I've knocked them. But they've got a special place in my heart for that reason. You know, like I said, no but Marine Guys, Mantry, none of the big boys were around. Certainly none of the newer breweries that we've even been thought of at that point. I'm talking like 2012, 2013. So, uh, special place in my heart for Christian Moore. This is a really good beer too, folks. I, if anybody's ever had it, you can really try it. I pour it in and review it here. But it's a really refreshing, again, spring, early summer beer. Uh... I'm not sure. I think I purchased this again late May, early June. So uh, I do have the Sun King glassware. I'm going to try this. I was just there at their beautiful tap room in Indianapolis uh, last week. Beautiful place. Overrated beer. Kind of like Ryan Geist. Uh, it's the cool thing to do. Uh, drink Sun King and Ryan Geist beer. Uh, some of the beers were okay, but nothing great. But I do think it is a cool tap room. Similar to Ryan Geist. Great facility. Great people. Uh, the place is cool, and I think that's just as important sometimes. As much as I knock around guys and even these guys, to have a great staple tap room, people just can can enjoy something other than Buttermore Light while not being in the great elite beer that the people sought after. It's still a good time. So, no shame in either one of these breweries. But again, this is the Ryan Geist of Indianapolis, the Sun King Glassware for the Christian Moorline Strawberry Pig. Let's get into the glass and see how we go. The pour again, light colored cream ale here. You're not going to see too much red on this. It is infused with strawberries, but it's going to be a cream ale color. Uh, coming out of the can here, and there's the pour. Now, this is a tremendous beer. I really enjoy this. I think it's ten bucks a six pack as well. So, again, these are beers you know, kind of been on a rough budget trying to get these uh, bills paid down. And these are beers you know that are good craft beers at a reasonable price and uh, pretty sour. There's the pour, not much head, a little bit of carbonation. You can tell it's really thin. There is some carbonation in there. Uh, just some quick aroma here. Again, you're gonna get basic wheat aromas uh some strawberry it's a cream ale with strawberry and what i like about this beer is it is what it says it is so many other beers i've tried are not that so there's the pour it smells like an ale there's a little bit of strawberry in the aroma so let's get after it again not much head on the beer so let's thank the brewers at Marlon. they had a special place in my heart cheers and i love it. i love the Marlon. i'm gonna love them forever cheers It's a good beer, folks. Very good, refreshing. Just enough strawberry. It's definitely there. It's almost, 
almost, and it's not there on the verge of being too much strawberry, but for me, they did this just right. Small batch, just a limited release. I mean, they did brew it, you can get a lot of it here locally, but uh, really a good beer. It's a cream ale, a traditional cream ale with a nice amount of strawberry. It is what it says it is. Uh, 4.9, nothing there on the alcohol. Again, 10 for 10 bucks, a six pack. Gonna be a basic review though, because you can see there's not, your presentation wise, not a ton. I mean, it does have a little bit of light carbonation, but not much head, uh, not much lacing. It's just one of those easy summer drinking beers. You know, it's, where it's, it's one of those beers where if I could just get a single, I would because I just want to try so much. I've said this, I cannot express this on Blue in the Face. I bought a six pack of it to share with friends, and you know, it is refreshing. I would see one you can drink four or five of it. I think you do have to like strawberries for this beer because there is a decent amount of strawberry, which I like. I'm not complaining. I think it's balanced really well. Uh, I'm going to sip here. Really a tremendous brew. I, uh, I really enjoy this one. I think I said, I think anybody should try this if you like strawberry. This is one of Marlon's better offerings, in my opinion. Probably OTR is my favorite Marlon beer. But this is a good beer. I uh, really enjoy this one. So, like I said, if anybody's had this, drop me a line. Uh, Kyle Sider Talking Hops. This is number 251, 251, Christian Moreline. Uh, but like I said, I was summer refreshing beer from a local company. You can't go wrong. So, uh, like I said, for more for me, you know, Moreline gets the bad rap of being, being the, uh, you know, kind of the poor boy in town. And, you know, their beers aren't the best. Uh, there's been some other beers that have came around that have really surpassed them. But like I said, for me, a lot of humble night, a lot of, a lot of great nights with them. And, some humble humble nights there so that's gonna do it for me folks cheers again drop me a line happy early fourth of july hope you get some reviews in tomorrow 251 strawberry pit christian Moreline. uh life's too short folks give us a shot if you like strawberries if you like cream ales if you like either one of those two or if you just want to try a good beer from a local company that's been around for a long time and, it, and it's been here give this a shot so uh again that's all i've got so uh, cheers everybody and uh happy uh, early fourth of july see you guys